These bulldogs will try to bite anyone who visits the house. The minute the gate goes, the dogs are out of control, they're barking and they are literally launching themselves at people, nipping your feet. When we have people around, it can be very intimidating. All of a sudden, they are literally hounded. They charge, and when they come at you full throttle, you will know about it. True to form, Victoria's receiving the standard greeting. First from Arnie. Hello. Goodness Come me. on, boys. Vinny. Goodness. Oh. Come here. Was that a little love net? Uh, uh, off. Ahem. Off. Then Vinny, who's taken a shine to her jacket. Vinny. Oh. Oh, oh, excuse Vinny. me. No, it's naughty. You can feel his teeth. Uh, Vinny! Vinny! Oh, if, my God. If your hands are down, he'll have them. Vinny! Vinny! Oh, 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 dear. Oh, dear. I require a bit of sewing there. <laughs> OK, that's enough. Thank you. Come on. Though Vinny has other ideas, as this is a game that can easily last half an hour. We have to watch them like a hawk. There's no relaxing when people come round. No. Down. Vinny! Oh. Hey! Oh. Enough, that's naughty. Don't. Uh-oh, no, sir. Luckily, Victoria speaks bulldog. Basically, I was telling him, ow, that hurt. Stop. It's just a matter of time. Before that mouthing, that excitable jumping up and grabbing, is going to be on a child's arm. So Victoria has a game plan, which starts in the kitchen. This is where you yeah. congregate first. Yes. And we're going to set up the living room. That can be the dog's safe space mm -hmm. while people come in. <laughs> but given their very different reaction to guests, this needs to be a two-pronged approach. This crate is going to be Arnie's safe space. OK. Meanwhile, Vinny can use the room to run off his excitable energy. This is going to be Vinny's chew bone, but I've put food <laughs> either end. He's going to be more into kind of chewing, licking, trying to get it out. This is going to be a great activity. Arnie also needs a discharging activity. So I've put cheese in this mat. I've put some of his favourite treats in. The reason why I am not just giving two dogs, two activity toys with food in, when they're free to be around each other, mm. is we know what's going to happen. We certainly do. A fight. I don't want that to happen. That's why we have one dog safely contained in the crate and the other one outside. Arnie in the crate. With Victoria playing house guest. Hi, Hello. come in. Thank you. Come on through. <laughs> so far, not a peep. It is so nice to come in and not be jumped all over. And it's calm. Yeah. After a few minutes, Zoe unleashes Vinny. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Wow. Well, well hello. <laughs> <laughs> what am I? Your boots aren't so much fun anymore. They're not. Hello, he's coming back. Hello. Lovely. Lovely. I love the fact that he's playing. I'm not here. Interested. Didn't go for my boots. Doesn't really care. And all of that <laughs> is on that toy. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.